All right, so let's add a couple animations to an object here in PowerPoint 2010. Say we just want this chat cloud to fly in and fade in at the same time. Just uh, want to add a couple animations. Actually, you can add, as I guess, as many as you like. But uh, So select the object, and then from the Animations tab, you see a list of all your animations right here. You have your entrance, your emphasis, and so on. Go ahead and just select one. So I'll just do a fade. There it is, fading. Now, what I'd probably do now, right, so you want you can actually see what you're adding, is click the animation pane right here. And that'll bring open a list of all your animations. So right now, it just fades in. So if I want to add a new animation, just click the Add Animation. And fly in. But right now, a couple things, right? We see these numbers right here. This means that these animations are going to play sequentially. First, it's going to fade, and then it's going to fly. If I want these two to fly in or to work together, I just need to make sure one of these is set to with previous, and that sort of piggybacks it along with the first animation. And there it is fading up. The other thing to look for is to make sure that the uh, duration is set the same, right? If you are maybe copying animations or you start to modify one, you'll see that uh, if one animation is a little longer or shorter, they're not going to uh, obviously complete at the same time. So you just want to make sure that the animations are set the same. Make that medium. And then the other thing that works just like previous versions of PowerPoint is if you have your object selected and then you click the uh, up here in the animation again, it's going to replace what was currently there. So let me redo that. All right, so if I have one selected, and now that you see because it is with previous, right, it's tying those together. And if I come in here and maybe do a grow, it's going to replace that with grow. So you're going to lose your animation. So if I wanted the grow, right, again, just add animation and then find the grow. And then it adds it in there, but you can see by default it adds it to an on-click. Just do it with previous. And now you've got them all there working great.